In many instances, we would have noticed that our elderly were housed in derelict buildings. They were abused by their caregivers. They were fed meals that were not catered for their nutritional needs, and they were deprived access to medical services. George, today the Regency, the Ministry of Social Protection in collaboration with the PAHO WHO, launched a five-day workshop for those who are involved in the care of the elderly, and to give an overview of what the day will involve what the workshop will entail was Dr. Rattan and Dr. Rattan is the director of the elderly care with the Ministry of Public Health. The whole purpose of this consultation and this meeting is because we all have one common interest which is care for the elderly and improving whatever care and services that we're already providing for them. Just because they've reached the age of retirement doesn't mean that we would, we would have forgotten about them and forgotten that they have social needs, healthcare needs, Needs, basic needs. So just to give you an overview, that is basically what this stakeholders meeting is about, to establish a well-rounded minimal health care and social care standard for our elders in, in Guyana. Also speaking at the launch this morning was Deputy Director of Social Services, Mr. Biki Samuels. In 2016, the Ministry of Social Protection developed minimum standards for elderly residential facilities in Guyana based on international best practices and in accordance with international conventions and treaties to which Guyana is a signatory. Over the years, we have noticed that elderly care facilities have been operating unregulated. The Ministry of Social Protection is committed to improving the quality of life of its seniors particularly those in residential care. In our minimum standards, we have a checklist when we visit the homes. The checklist has 74 items, and we, yes, no items, and we basically rate the homes based on if they're outstanding, good, requires improvement, or basically if they are inadequate. George, the workshop will go for five days and will include visits to some of the nursing homes, the elderly care homes across Guyana, and there are about 20 of them or so. They will be special presenting on the theme of elderly care, both local specialists and international specialists. And the intention is to apprise those who operate nursing homes or elderly care homes, both for the government and the private entities, on what are the international best practices and for them to understand that the Ministry of Social Protection has a minimal care standard that they will be looking for when the visiting teams come around. Back to you, George. Thanks for watching Headline News. Leave a like or a comment below. And for updates on the latest news happening in Guyana, click the subscribe button.